geldiniz sevgili dostlar, değerli misafirler. Every year we discuss these topics that are covered, that are not talked about, that have become taboos. We organize these panels in order for the truths, the documents, the information uh, can become visible. And during these two days, we will be talking about Van, Vaspuragan in Armenian. Dear friends, we are going through a period where the voices are not heard and the tongues are muted. They are trying to put fear in our hearts and despair is everywhere. We are going through this difficult period where frustration and violence has become tangible. It is quite difficult. The black clouds that are gathering above us, they herald a, a great hurricane. It is like we are rolling into a uh, well that has no end. Everybody, uh, everywhere is in ruins. My brothers and sisters, we can live a harder period and we can live such horrible things that they can destroy our, uh, what is left of our hope. And the fact that uh, when people lose hope, the, uh, their lives can become full of fear and this is what the evil wants. They would like to scare us. They would like to make us nothing. Yes, brothers and sisters, we have to fight against this uh, fear policy. Those who say, what can we do, should be aware of the effect of a little uh, butterfly. They say that when a butterfly flaps its, its rings, it could cause a hurricane at the other end of the world. That butterfly that fla flaps its rings knows that it could cause a hurricane even if the butterfly itself cannot see the hurricane. Today what we are trying to do here is for a butterfly to flap its rings. It has not been long. We witnessed those who denied the genocide, who, uh, who denied genocide are now silenced today, they have to be silenced. So those people who fought for this, they paid heavy prices, they went through some very difficult periods. Some of them could not see today, but that wind that they started with their wings have now become a hurricane and it destroyed a huge wall of lies. I would like to commemorate them with respect today. For two days, we will be talking about one, and we will be commemorating Rimyan Hayrik. We are going to talk about the prayer of a villager brought to us by Rimyan Hayrik, uh, which is the summary of all that we have uh, gone through. Oh God, work, uh, make my harvest abundant so that what is left of uh, all the plunders can be enough for my children, for my house, so that I can offer meal to my guests, so that I can thank you by giving you your share. I would like to uh, welcome each and every one of you while I conclude my remarks. Music